Hello everyone, welcome to All I Mass TV again. Here we are again. Now, we have a diverting equation, a matoliped question, a Romanian matoliped question. Now, the question says, x to the power of 6 plus 3, x to the power of 3 plus 1 equal to y to the power of 4. Find all pairs of integers solution of your x and y that will satisfy this equation. Now, I'll be uh, solving this uh, uh, diverting equation with uh, one of the uh, best online math tutor, and that is the uh, person of uh, Dr. P.K. Dr. P.K. is one of the uh, best when it comes to uh, mathematics. You can get uh, a link to Dr. P.K.'s uh, math channel. Uh, it's in the description down below, okay? Just go there, uh, search for it, and uh, uh, you will see some of the nice uh, matolipid solution from his channel. He's good at what he does. So let's go into today's challenge. But before we go into today's challenge, I want to say a very big sorry to uh, my viewers and subscribers all over the world for not being on ground all the time these days as a result of uh, the preparation for my wedding, which comes up 24th of uh, September, which is this month, 2023. Okay, so for those that are within my Evero, okay, you are invited. And for those that are far off, uh, you can say congratulations, Mr. J, for your uh, wedding uh, in the comment section below. Okay, just drop your congratulatory message in the comment section below. All right, so see you on the 24th. But before that, let's go into um, our challenge for today. The question is x to the power of 6 plus 3, x to the power of 3 plus 1 equal to y to the power of 4. Find all pairs of integer solutions for your x and y. So let's take our solution, solution, solution. We put down our question, which is x to the power of 6 plus your 3, x to the power of 3 plus your 1 equal to your y to the power of 4. So how do we solve this? At first, when I saw this question, uh, in fact, I was taken aback and it took me some days to uh, get myself stabilized on how to solve this. Now, seeing what I have here now, I thought of um, some of uh, two cubes and they didn't work out. Although, if you rewrite this expression, it tells of handling this, which is uh, 2 x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 3, you can get a, a very nice uh, algebraic identity from there, okay? Because what we have here now, we can rewrite this as your y to the power of 2 or to the power of 2. So with the other one, you can get your difference of 2 squared, but there will be a challenge. In other words, if you rewrite this, we can rewrite this as your x to the power of 6 plus your 2 x to the power of 3, there plus x to the power of 3, plus one. Now, if I take this and this together, it will give me a very nice algebraic identity or a very nice expression that has to do with um, uh, power of two. And I can equally get power of two from here. But here, this will pose a challenge, okay? So to handle this and also to write every t here to the power of two, what we do here is very easy. Okay, again, thank you to Dr. PK for the hint. So from here, what we do, we multiply true by 4. So this will now give us 4x to the power of 6 plus your 12x to the power of 3 plus 4 equal to your 4y to the power of 4. Nice. With it, we still have some challenge. Again, let's add 5 to both sides of the equation. So we're going to have here 4x to the power of 6 plus 12x to the power of 3 plus your 4 plus the 5 and at the same time we add 5 to this other side of the equation again plus 5. So if we do this, this will now end up giving us 4x to the power of 6 plus 12x to the power of 3 plus 9 okay equal to your 4y to the power of 4 there plus 5. Now take a look at this. We can now re handle this side of the equation and rewrite this very expression we have here now. If we rewrite this, this will also be written as your 2x to the power of 3 plus your 3r to the power of 2, okay, equal to 2y squared r to the power of 2, then plus 5. If you open up this using binomial expansion, we're going to come up with this. Okay, so all we need to do, send this to this side of the equation. So this will now give us here bracket your 2x to the power of 3 plus 
3 r to the power of 2 minus um, bracket your 2y r square r to the power of 2 equal to 5. Good. So we can now apply our difference of 2 square. Okay. This is bracket here. So we cannot apply the uh, difference of 2 square here. You remember your difference of 2 square? What does it say? It says that if you have uh, something like your p square there minus q squared, this is equals to your p plus q bracket, bracket, um, bracket here, your p minus q. Okay, you remember this, right? Okay, let's separate this out. First, this is what we're going to make use of. Yeah. Okay, so with this in mind, what do we do? The whole of this is our P and the whole of this is our Q. So let's rewrite this expression in this format now. So let's continue on this side of the board. Okay. All right. So rewriting this in this format, there, this will give us here. Let's open our square bracket. Bracket your 2x to the power of 3 plus your 3 close bracket there plus your 2y squared close bracket then into another square bracket bracket your 2x to the power of 3 there plus your 3 close bracket minus your 2y to the power of 2 close bracket all equal to 5. All right so at this point what we do we look for the factors of 5 and 5 is a prime number and so we're going to have just two numbers and so five can also be written as your um one times five this is five and five times one this is also five minus one times minus five this is also five minus five times minus one this is also five so we have about four cases here of expressing this so what we do we circle to the product rule okay so we cannot express this as um yeah we're going to have this to be 2x to the power of 3 there plus your 2y r square plus 3 this will give us let's take the first scenario which is this this 1 5 and 5 uh, 1 so this will now be equal to your 1 and at the same time we can take this to uh, the second one, which is your 2x to the power of 3 minus your 2y to the power of 3 plus 3. This is equal to 5. This is the first case scenario. Okay? So, the next one, we have 2x to the power of 3 there plus your 2y squared plus 3 equal to 5. Okay equal to 5 and your 2s to the power of 3 then minus 2y squared plus 3 equal to 1. This is the second case scenario and also the third one could be 2x to the power of 3 plus 2y squared plus 3 equal to minus 5. Okay, then we have 2x to the power of 3 minus 2 y squared plus 3 equal to minus 1. This is the third one. And lastly, we have 2x to the power of 3 plus 2y squared. Then plus 3 is, is equal to minus 1. Or we have 2x to the power of 3 plus, sorry, minus please. Okay, minus 2y squared the plus 3 equal to minus 5. So these are the four possible case scenarios we can have from this expression here now. All right. But mind you, we are looking for the integer solution, okay? Not the imaginary pair. So from here, let's take a look at this first one now. So if I have to solve for our x and y from this aspect, from this part, we're going to have yeah, we can add the two equations together. If we do that, this, this will leave the system. And so here we are now left with your 4x. Let me rule this off. 4x to the power of 3. Then we can add this to give us here plus 6 equal to 6. Okay, so we have 4x 
to the power of 3 equal to 6 minus 6, which is equal to 0. Automatically, S is equal to 0. Okay, so we now have S to be 0 for this. So from here, let's solve for our Y. What we do, let's put X equal to 0 into equation 1. So if we do that, we're going to have here, say put X, uh, X equal to 0 into, okay, let's say in equation 1. So if you take this, so we're going to have here 0 plus 2y squared equal to 1 minus uh, 3, which is equal to this, this will give us a minus 2. Okay, so here we have y squared equal to minus 1. If we divide through, give us minus 1. So, so if we take the square root of both sides, take the square root of this, this, this will leave. So here we're going to have y is equal to the square root of minus 1. And this is imaginary root. We don't need this, so we reject this. This will be rejected. Again, let's solve for case 2. So for case 2, here, what happens if we add up again? This, this will leave. So from here now, we're going to get our x again. x will be equal to 0. Okay? So if we solve for x here, it will give us 0 because here will give us 4 and here we have 6. So if we subtract it, this will give us 0. So what we do here, let's put x into this first equation and see what this gives us. So if we put x into this one, this will give us here um, 2 into 0, okay, plus our 2y, then uh, plus 3 equal to uh, 5. Again, what happened? Send this to this side. This will now give us your 2. This is square, please. So we have your 2y squared, then equal to 5 minus 3. This is equal to 2. Okay, so let's come to this other side so that I see it very well. From here, let's proceed to this other side. All right, so from here, we're going to have this to be, uh, this now implies that your 2y squared equal to your 2. So if you divide through, you're going to have y squared equal to um, 1. So taking the square root of both sides, what happened is this will leave. So have y is equal to plus minus 1. So from here, when x is equal to 0, what happens? We have y to be uh, plus 1. And when x is equal to uh, 0 again, we have y to be minus 1. So therefore, we cannot see our x, comma, y, okay, is equal to, you have your 0, comma, um, minus 1, okay, and a comma bracket 0, then we have positive 1. Okay. So, these are the pairs of your integer solution to this uh, Diffatin equation. All right. So, if you learn something from this Romina Math Olipaid Mathematics Challenge, drop it in the comment section. And also, you have a better way of solving this, also drop it in the comment section. If you love what is going on here, give the video a thumbs up. Again, I want to say a very big thank you to Dr. PK for being there all the time appreciate okay do not forget to uh, check the link uh, below in the description to get his uh, uh, channel and also uh, visit his channel again this is all i must tv and remember i love you because you are always there bye for now